If you're brand new to turkey hunting, I'm about to show you the first three calls that you need to focus on learning in order to see success in the turkey woods. I'm going to show you what they are, talk about the pros and cons for each one, and you're going to learn how to use them. Well, let's get after it. My name is Matt, and I live for moments like these. Well, guys, I killed the biggest buck of my life this morning. I'm far from an expert, but using persistence and a little bit of luck, I'm able to make some pretty cool things happen. I do my best to capture the entire harvest, the kill, the prep, and my favorite part, the meal. Because to me, it's more than a hunt. It's man versus deer. He is a mass monster, holy cow. What's up guys and welcome back to another Man vs. Deer video. If you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to check out a Man vs. Deer video. I post a lot of videos, most of them are hunting videos in the style of catch, clean, cook. If you're into that sort of thing, if you like hunting and wild game recipes, you're in the right place. Smack that subscribe button, turn on that notifications bell. You're going to love the content you see on this channel, I guarantee it. So the first call we're going to talk about, and this is the most common, I think, turkey call that's used. It's the most easy turkey call to use. That's going to be a pot call. They make these in a bunch of different styles for the very, very first time turkey hunter. I would recommend getting a slate call, easiest to use, most forgiving, uh, but it's a pot call. It's, it's a solid surface and a striker. The strikers, it makes a sound when you drag it across it. And the easiest call you're ever going to do on that and on a pot call is just taking the striker and moving it in a circle. It's going to create a yelp. quick movements like this and that's gonna cluck. Or you can drag the striker across the surface with very light pressure and it's gonna create a purr. Those three calls are all you need to kill turkeys. You can get fancier than that, but that's really all that you need, especially if you're just dipping your toes in. Now, the pros to this call, it is the easiest turkey call to use and it's gonna be the fastest startup time to get you out in the woods hunting. Um, you can go really loud, like on a, on a glass surface you can get really loud, on a slight surface you can get really quiet, so they're pretty versatile. Um, so they're easy and you can make all the turkey sounds you need to make to kill turkeys. The con to these is that usually speaking, if they get any kind of moisture on them, you're done. So you drop your striker in the grass that's covered with dew, um, not favorable hunting conditions and it's misty or rainy out not the best option. But under normal hunting conditions, 90% of the time, this is gonna be a good go-to, easy to use beginner type call to call in turkeys. Next call we're gonna cover is an owl hooter. These are typically a tube call, and the reason I included this call in the turkey calls that you really need to have if you're a beginner, even though it doesn't make a turkey sound, is because it's a very good tool for locating a bird. If you go in uh, the night before, right before the sun sets and blow on this thing, a lot of times it'll elicit a gobble out of a turkey and you have a good starting point for the next day. If you're going in blind, right before the sun comes up, you can hit this and if there's a turkey in the area, he's more than likely going to gobble and you know, you know, you have a better idea of where you need to set up. This thing does what we call uh, initiate a shot gobble and so those turkeys are sitting there. It's a loud, strange noise and it takes them by surprise and a lot of times it'll elicit a gobble. These things are pretty easy to learn how to use. They're a little bit harder than a slate call in my opinion, which is why I put them second in the video. Um, but to use this, all you have to do most of the time is cup your hand over the call like this, and you're gonna blow air into the top of it, and you're gonna do it in a who cooks for you uh, cadence, which sounds like this. And I do a little bit of a tongue flutter at the end of that, just to add some realism, but super, super, awesome tool to have. Um, there's really no downsides to this. It's, I mean, it isn't going to scare birds away if you use it. It's only going to help you find birds and it's really easy to use. You can use it when it's dry, wet out. There really isn't any cons to this type of call. Um, they make a bunch of other locator calls. You can get crow calls, coyote calls, but this is the most common widespread and easy to use version of that. You definitely need it in your pack if you're a new turkey hunter. The last call we're going to talk about is a diaphragm call or a mouth call. They make a million different versions of these. There's a hundred different companies, but they all do the same job. You're going to put this call in your mouth and run air over the call while it's in your mouth, and you can make every turkey sound known to man on these. The benefits to this style of call is that because it's in your mouth, your hands are free. You can have your gun pointed at a turkey. If a turkey's really close and you don't want to move to make a call, this is a no movement call. Um, and then it's probably the most versatile call 
out there. You can make every kind of turkey sound known to man on one of these, and you can do it silently, and you can do it motionless. So that's the benefits. The cons to this style of call are that um, they are pretty hard to master. It's going to take a lot of practice. You're going to have to have this call in your mouth for a lot of hours. It isn't something you can just pop in and go. So there's no real cons to the sounds they make or, or like weather isn't going to impact them or anything like that, but it's going to take a lot of practice, trial and error before you can confidently use this in the field. Once you do though, this will be your go-to call for 90% of the time and I'll show you what they sound like real quick. And that is a mouth call, otherwise known as a diaphragm call. Definitely something you should be working towards mastering. All right, guys. Well, those are the three basic calls that I think every new turkey hunter should start to master or that they should start with, you know, if you're just brand new and dipping your toes into the turkey hunting world. Once you get those three down, there's a million other options. There's push calls, poop calls, box calls, coyote calls, crow calls. I mean, there's a million other calls you can jump into, but those are the top three. They're going to be the easiest to learn and they're going to get you the most success when you're first starting out. So that basically brings us to the end of the video, guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you got what you were looking for. But more than anything, I really hope that you like this video enough to check out more man versus deer content. If you want more details on how to use turkey calls and turkey calling tutorials, I've got videos like that on the channel. If you're looking at how to scout for turkeys, how to find turkeys or other turkey hunting tips, I've got those videos on the channel. They're going to pop up as this video closes, and if you're looking for that sort of thing, make sure you click on those, give them a watch, and consider subscribing. Also, guys, if you want to support the channel, I do have merch. Um, those are going to be available uh, via links in the description, and if you're curious about any of the gear I use, turkey vests, camo calls, any of that, and all of that can be found in the description via links. If you click on those links and make a purchase, I do get a little bit of a kickback on that. And that is going to do it for today's video, guys. I really appreciate you coming along for the ride. I want to wish you good luck next time you're in the woods, and God bless.